I'm going to fit a Trumbull chain wheel to the hand wheel of a gearbox. You'll only need just one socket and spanner to suit the hard way. Okay, we'll fit the chain wheel to a 12 inch hand wheel. We'll just present the chain wheel where we want it. Then with the basic U-clip, we'll attach that first because it's the easiest one to fit and that will hold things in place while you fit the other clips. I'll just tighten that partially just to hold things in place. And the second clip, so a two part, you've got two large, two small. So we'll take one of each and they present to the back of the hand wheel and clamp the hand wheel. And one through there, the other one behind it, then that's through. And then you get the nut on the other side. Then the second bolt and nut will attach the two clips together and clamp the hand wheel. We'll re repeat for the third location and basically centralize the chain wheel on the hand wheel and we can lock up the bolts So the U-clip, the easiest one to fit, the first one, the two part clips with the short and the long, and you can see how the bolt clamps onto the hand wheel and is bolted through the chain wheel and is securely attached. And hand wheel attached, ready for fitting the chain. And now we need to cut the chain to suit the chain wheel. You'll need a pair of bolt cutters or decent Y cutters and a pair of uh, multi grips or vice grips to close the joining link. To check your length, you just work out from the center of your hand wheel to what drop you require, double that, and half the circumference of the chain wheel. If you need to cut the chain with the bolt cutters, cut at the link you require. At any position, you move that, then you need to remove these pieces through the end of the lug and the pieces will fall away and won't interfere. The same again here through this point here. And the chain is ready to attach. I will fit the chain to the hand wheel. So it's just a matter of feeding it through the guide, up and over the chain wheel, making sure you connect over the dogs, and back through the guide the other side. Bring this round, ensuring there's no twists in the chain. The joining link. Threads through here and around. Then simply into there. And then with a pair of vice grips, multi grips, just squeeze down the two legs 
to ensure it doesn't come apart once fitted to the chain. And the chain has now been fitted. And simply to pull in the chain, we can now wind the gearbox. And the job is complete.